Dating is relevant in all seasons and all walks of life, but yet summer is somewhat special in that area of life and interpersonal relationship. Summer is time of chill, nice weather, cocktail parties, picnic times, and I don't know, pool parties, and a lot of time in swimsuit, of course. Thank you. There are storms of hormones and needs for summer love and summer romances and that's the reason why I will dedicate this video to some dating tips that are really relevant in summer. But before we dive in, to be good in dating you need to be confident and confidence needs building and if you are an introverted person and you don't feel confident naturally from yourself, there is a way how to improve, how to get better. And I can tell you how to do it. There are two ways. The first one is I've just recently made a video about Sharon Stone who is super confident and confidence is sexy. So if you wanna pick up some pointers from that video, it's over there in a card. And the second point is that I'm creating a summer challenge, challenge that I'll be teaching how to improve in communication with people and how to build the confidence to talk to people, how to prepare your mindset, how to prepare your body, how to have the knowledges and techniques in your mind to actually go out and talk to people without any hesitation. Well, it's much pinker than it actually is. Even when you learn that, you'll be a little bit afraid of talking to people, but you will at least know how to do it and consider it at least fun. So if it sounds like something you might consider signing up for there is a link down below where you can sign up your pre-interest and i will let you know when it's ready and you can hop on and become the best version of yourself i'm putting my best into that course so i'm super excited about that but now there is a time for the first tip and we'll be talking about what the actual what dating is and what is dating good for because it's good to understand what it is and how to prepare your mind to going out and talk to people. Dating is a social interaction with a person that you can imagine a romantic, intimate relationship with in a playful tone and in a way that you are teasing the other person to find out what he is like, what he is like in any particular social interaction. So you are teasing him with words, you are poking that person and you are trying to touch that person and see how he reacts because that's how all relationship works. You are having some boundaries and you are trying to push a little bit further to see what the person is feeling like, what the person is reacting like. And after that teasing and pushing and playful mood on that date, you are deciding whether you two are a good fit or not. So when you are going out on a date, it doesn't mean that you are signing up for something and you have to be with that person forever. You are just going out to find out whether you two fit to be together. And if you find out that you are a good fit, you are feeling that amazing feeling, of course, and you are meeting that person regularly. You will develop relationship basically so i don't need to talk about it at this video because it's a goal and it's an ideal world but there will be a lot of dates that will come up in a way that you find out that you two are not a good fit and you need to understand that when you find out that you are not a good fit it's all right to go away to let that flow to absorb that playful mood from that date atmosphere and put it in before the date and after the date as well. It's like a game. You go, you play game to go on a date and when you find out it's good, it's great, but I'm not talking about that. And when you find out that it's not good, you are good to go to play another game to find out whether the other person is good to is a good fit for you. So have that easiness in your mind, that playfulness in your mind, because when you will consider that as a game, it will be playful, it will be fun. You will also be more attractive for the other people. You will be more confident, you will feel better in your skin. On the other side, when you feel like it's really important, it's really like serious, serious date, you will be tensed, you will be stressed and you won't give the best out of you and you don't want that. The first tip is the first sight. What does it mean? When 
you like somebody, you are attracted to somebody, you want to seek that person out in that crowd by your eyes. You want to look at that person quite often. So that first sight is telling you who likes you and you are telling that on yourself who, you, who do you like. So what I mean, when someone is coming, the first person that they are seeking out in that group by their side, they are most attracted to, they like the most. But that first sight is not only relevant when the person is coming, but after any peak situation that happens in that group. So for example, someone cracks a joke, the whole group starts laughing, but when something like that happens, you have tendency to look at somebody. And you are looking to somebody that is either the most dominant in that group and you want to get their affection or you are looking at somebody that is that you are attracted to that you like that you would like to date so seek in that group a person who looks at you and when the person that you like is looking back at you in that group after that peak moment you are quite good to go with that person out because there are chances that she or he likes you as well and that peak moment can be a joke coming of that person when someone embarrasses you because they are maybe drunk from that party and they shout something so that moment after the shout is the moment where the first sight is happening again when someone is angry fighting putting some telling some very sarcastic notion after those moments when you have tendency to check with other person so the first person you look at is the person that you want to be with so to speak and the other way around the first person if you are the first person someone looks at you are very important for them so that's the first thing the second thing we are talking about picnic parties and picking a spot where to sit so when you go out sitting it's a very volunteer process so when someone sits close to you it means they want to sit close to you they want to be around you and that is good to be observing where people sit because they are sitting in the way they want and when you like something when you like someone you want to be as close as possible so the person who is close to you probably likes you and it's not only that but when the person chooses the position where he has a clear direction to look at you they want to do that so kind of read between lines how do people are sitting and try to interpret that properly always in clusters clusters are that there are more than one body language traits that are supporting one theory and if you want to know more about rules of observing body language the course i've mentioned i'm talking the whole section about the rules of observing body language which is good to check as well another tip knee touch it's like a magical trick from all body language books which are telling you that when you touch someone and the other person is not backing up they feel for you and this is very subtle way how to find out it's usable when you are sitting next to each other or over the corner of a table so your knees can actually touch and when you are doing that on purpose you use your knee to touch the knee of the other person and when that person withdraws their knee it means that there is a work to do to gain trust and gain affection of that person but when that person is holding and touching you with the those knees are touching and they are not withdrawing it means they are feeling close to you and they and they are ready for moving to another stage maybe to pushing a little bit more as we talk about that pushing and poking and finding out how the, how you are reacting so when they let you touch them it's a good sign and the last tip for today is a drink check every single body language coach body language expert but body language person will tell you that you have a personal zone it varies from how far it is from the body from the core of the body the actual numbers doesn't really matter because it changes with the person to person but the truth is that the closer to your body it is the more sensitive it is to you and the less people you leave to enter that space but our personal zones personal spaces are not only to our body but we also extend that to things we own 
like a glass for example, computer, anything that is ours. So we don't like when somebody is approaching to our things and picking it up for example. Because it feels like they are really picking up us something that belongs to us and our right applies to that thing as well. So you are sitting in a restaurant, in a cafe, in a bar, wherever you go to. You are sitting at a table and the person that you are being there with is having glass, you have a glass. So you try to, when you pick up your glass, you try to put that glass as close as possible to the glass of the other person, the person you like. And because they have their personal zone around that glass as well, when they let you to put their to put your glass close to their glass, it means they let you come into their personal zone, which means that they feel close to you and they let you come in. It is a sign for you that you can push that relationship a little bit more, that you don't need to be afraid of maybe actual touch touching that person, I don't know, holding hands or pat on the shoulder, so I don't know what you want to do with that person, but that drink check really works. You can do it with a wallet, with a phone, with anything that the person owns, because the person owns also gets to our stuff, our, our personal belongings. So I think we are done for today. If you have any questions, don't worry to contact me in the comments or sending me an email. I'll be very happy talking to you. If you want to improve in dating generally, there is a whole list about dating, which is over here. You can check it out. There is more videos about dating, about touch, about I don't know what all, but you have, can feel free to check that out. Thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you in the next video from that from that playlist or that video that's randomly generated by YouTube, I guess. And if you like that, there is a subscribe button. Bye.